the stations of the cross the way of the cross the way of sorrows or the via dolorosa all refer to the journey jesus christ traveled from the time he was condemned to death until his body was placed in a burial tomb suffering in one of its many forms invades all of our lives no one needs to search for it we may attempt to deny or run from suffering but it cannot be avoided what is demanded is the need to come to terms with suffering it is in this context that we bring to you the experience of via dolorosa we invite you to pray these stations as a means of uniting your personal trials with our lord so that you too might share in his passion and rejoice in his resurrection first station jesus is condemned to death we adore you o christ and we praise you because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have you redeemed, redeemed the world, the world. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus stands before us, an innocent yet condemned man. His very name means God saves. And he himself tells us, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. To accomplish the work of redemption, Jesus willingly allows himself to be condemned to death on our behalf. The sinless for the sinful. Lord, you stood alone an innocent man sentenced to death. While I kneel before you, sinful, but granted eternal life in the company of angels and saints. Help me to recall this, when my life seems to get the best of me, when it weighs me down, and when I feel as though no one is on my side. Help me to grow in that light, knowing you are always at my side and trusting that whatever happens, you are at work redeeming the moment. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. The second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. the cross at one point or another, a layoff notice, divorce, a car accident, cancer. Whatever its form, the cross awaits us, not to punish or torture, 
but simply because ours is a broken world in need of redemption. Jesus willingly accepts the cross he received. Likewise, our crosses become openings for transformation, <laughs> challenges to embrace, and opportunities for healing. Lord, for you all things are possible. Remove this cross, but only according to your will. No matter what happens, help me to patiently accept what I must bear. Give me the courage to overcome what I am able and grant me the wisdom to unite my suffering with that of Christ so that I may become the person you've called me to be. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy, mercy on us. us. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. You will need to! Move it, Jesus! someone falls, our first instinct is to help them up. If we look around us more intently, we'll see that many are falling one way or another, whether physically, emotionally or spiritually. It is here that the eyes of Christ meet ours. On his shoulders, quite literally, rests the weight of the world. By this cross, we are lifted back to our feet, better equipped to recognize Christ in others and be Christ to them. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me 
and heard my cry. He drew me up from the desolate pit out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O Messiah, hurry up! Oh, oh welcome! The king of the Jews! <laughs> Stand the gaze of a mother, whether it's a look of compassion, commendation, or consternation. Along the way of the cross, Mary comes face to face with the fruit of a womb. Gazing at a son, her hands clasped in prayer. She intercedes for each of us. With Mary's faithfulness, we are assured of grasping the mystery she pondered while on earth, that what is broken will emerge whole and transformed from an empty tomb at the dawn of eternal life. Mary, you fix your gaze eternally on the mysteries of Jesus. And in doing so, you meet the entire body of Christ along the way. As I bear my own cross in this life, ask him to take hold of me, to lift my body, heart, and soul to himself so that I may be strengthened so that through me his love may radiate to all souls. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Come on! Save your king! Bye. 
when you were passing by the crowd. Simon stood by standing, and he was forced to help you out. Even though he didn't want to, he took you cross upon himself. He stood by you. Simon has his own problems. He tries to slip through the crowd, pretending not to notice. Then his eyes meet those of Jesus and their hearts speak as one. When we are pressed into service to bear a cross, we didn't seek we must pray for strength and recall that in the end the cross does not belong to us but to Christ who bears it for all. Lord, we don't get to choose our crosses and it is difficult for us to see and accept the reasons the are thrust upon us. Help me then to say yes to carry the cross for another so that I may find rest myself. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. led to his crucifixion. Jesus' face was slapped, spat upon and mocked. Approaching Jesus, Veronica steps through the surrounding cruelty and indifference and with a cloth wipes the grime and exhaustion from his face. She beholds the face of God and her heart rests in Him whose image she bears. Lord, my restless heart longs to see your face. Assist me in reaching out in compassion to the physically or spiritually hungry 
the thirsty, the stranger, the poor, the sick, and the imprisoned. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Cross gets heavier to bear. You grow tired with every step, and the pains beyond compare. But the soldiers don't let you rest, even though you give your best. And under the of the cross again you <laughs> once again Christ stumbles and falls to the ground out of the immense love for us God lowers himself in Jesus to restore the dignity that sin has stripped from humanity. God stoops to us, allows himself to be broken and shared among us, so that we who are so broken may together become the whole Christ, blessed and shared with all. Lord, how often I stumble and fall, but you are with me every step of the way to lift me up, to encourage and strengthen me. Help me each day to truly realize what you have done for me so that your mercy and grace may inspire me to encourage and strengthen others. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Pick eighth the station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Oh, Pastor!
contain their sorrow and compassion for the suffering Jesus a group of women following him along the way to Calvary openly mourns for him Jesus asks them to set their sights on the eternal to lament supernaturally the underlying reason for his necessary suffering the evil that humanity habitually falls into and the good it often neglects to do may those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy those who go out weeping bearing the seed for sowing shall come home with shouts of joy carrying their sheaves have mercy on us o lord have, have mercy, mercy on us the ninth station jesus falls the third time we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Jesus collapses once again under the weight of humanity's pride. How often do we feel utterly overwhelmed by our weakness? We make sincere resolutions to change, but then fall once again. Human failure in this life is to be expected. The point is to recognize it, acknowledge it, look to Christ for further strength and courage and move on. Lord, forgive me. My pride is my shame, but your mercy is my peace. Strengthen me as I shoulder my cross. and lift me up when i fall by your grace may i always extend to others the mercy you have granted me so that one by one little by little step by step we may all keep to your way Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us.
the tenth station jesus is stripped of his garments we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world garments in front of everyone for our sake he not only lets go of his human life but his very dignity as a person little by little from birth to death we must inevitably learn to let go of what we possess those who want to save their life will lose it and those who lose their life for my sake will save it grant me the grace to embrace my absolute dependence on your divine providence grant us all the eternal visions to realize that as we let go of the desires that clothe us you stand ready to wrap us in the garment of salvation and the robe of righteousness have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the 11th station jesus is nailed to the cross we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world
We see God's undiable mercy and undying love for each and every one of us. Though he is innocent, Jesus willingly stretches out his body upon a cross. On that cross, in the body of Christ, hangs our every fault fear and tear. God does what only God can. He makes the imperfect perfect, brings new life from death, changes mourning into dancing. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have As mercy on us. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Yeah. 
Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. It is finished. My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for your love of me. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you with my whole heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Grant that I may love you always and do with me as you will. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world.
and such pain who hold him close and look about oh where is he whom you have loved oh Savior lying still in Mary's arms. Look at Mary's eyes as she cradles the body of her son, Jesus, after he has breathed his last. Are you able to discern? how she pieces together the mysteries of Christ which she has pondered in her heart from the very beginning. Now beneath the cross her son's body in her arms the words of the boy Jesus sounds once again in Mary's heart applicable to this moment. Why are you searching for me? Do you not know that I must be in my father's house? Mary, mother of the church, you are the hope of all Christian pilgrims on the way to the heavenly Jerusalem, where you and your son Jesus the Lamb of God await us all. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The joy of this knowledge, derived through faith, fills us with that holy desire needed to live radically here and now. It is what makes us Christian. We should embrace the joy of knowing that in Christ, God has restored all things and rightly ordered them. Lord, I wait for the dawn of resurrection, often in the midst of darkness and death. Help us along the way, in faith, hope and love, to deny ourselves 
take up our cross daily and follow Christ. Forever trusting that if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Loving God, as we conclude our reflection on Jesus' path to Calvary, we are filled with awe for his unwavering love. Though he walked a sorrowful road, his journey brought forth redemption. May we carry the lessons learned from the stations in our hearts. May we find strength to overcome challenges with hope and resilience, knowing that your love conquers all. We make this prayer in Jesus' name and through the intercession of Mary, our mother. Amen. Amen. Let us all together say, one our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory be, for the intentions of our Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us spend little time in silence. And we are going to pray. Oh my Jesus, thank you for all the graces that you have given to us to participate in this passion. Thank you for being with us in our struggles. And when we face a lot of problems in our life, that you give us confidence that we are not alone. And when we are standing near to your cross, along with your beloved mother, Jesus, when we fall, when we suffer, we are not alone. When we fall, you also fall with us. When we suffer, you also suffer with us. And thank you for encouraging us to face the crosses that we face in our day-to-day -day life. And thank you for giving us your grace to participate in this meaningful way of the cross. Lord, continue to bless all our families and the sufferings, the cross that we face have a meaning in our life. And we pray for all our youth, those who have participated in this, actively participated in the way of the cross, helping us to 
move station to station, meditating over your passion, suffering. And we ask you to bless our families, bless each and every one of our parish, especially in this land, those who suffer, those who falsely accused, imprisoned, and those who are in great ang anxiety and fear, and those who suffer physically, mentally, and we place all our struggles under the foot of the cross. Mother Mary, in a special way, intercede for all of us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So